Recently, I asked you guys and Reddit for some of your thoughts and hot takes on the upcoming Saturday DLC. Here's what you guys said. Hottest take. Single player Splatoon has never appealed to me for more than the campaign loop and I won't be into it just like Octo Expansion and the three game campaigns. This one is definitely an unpopular opinion to say the least. Splatoon 3 story mode is definitely amazing, but I can also really see where you're coming from here. But for me, I definitely have to disagree with this one. Just mainly because I personally love Octo Expansion, I think the story was amazing and I'm pretty sure it did have some people crying over a cephalopod leaving the other ground for the first time. Same thing with Splatoon 3's, it was pretty cool and it followed Octo Expansion's formula, but made it different enough which made it cool and unique and fun. Well, I mean, sort of fun, just not after Alterna. And somebody who actually replied to this said, Unfortunately, I agree. It seems like everyone just loved Octo Expansion, but I could not just get into it. I feel like I was pushing through just to get the Octo unlock. I'm not a huge fan of the platforming aspect of the single player Splatoon levels. There's speculation of Spider Order. Spider Order? There's speculation of Side Order being roguelike, which could shake up the single player gameplay enough to get me interested though. Now, adding to the last take, this player is kind of spinning. I mean, once everyone started to realize and get the Octolins, you have to beat the DLC. Most people sadly rushed to the DLC just to get it, and didn't realize until after the first few videos of the DLC, it was so much more fun to be having with the Octo Expansion. Like, you know, Aider Agent 3, which I'm still, like, I didn't even realize it on my first playthrough, I'm not gonna lie. I still don't completely agree with this take as a whole, but I can truly understand where everyone is coming from with this take. But for the platforming aspect, I do disagree. Which, even though Splatoon's platforming at times can be incredibly painful, it's worth it and I do enjoy it because it's just, it's just unique. Like, you know, like, Splatoon's just a really unique game. I mean, that's obviously why people love it. I mean, you can look at a review from anyone ever and they'll always say Splatoon's a unique game because it is. You, you, in Call of Duty, you can't go under your own... What can you even do in Call of Duty? I haven't played COD in so... But, you just... You can't do things you can do in COD that you can't do in Splatoon. That's basically what I'm getting at here. Anyways, let's go to the next stage. I think they should stop splitting their resources on single player DLC and have a second dev team on board to make this full single player spinoffs. This one I think would definitely work per perfectly, but the main problem could be budget or just laziness. I don't know, but Nintendo, I feel like they, like, if they were, if they really, like, how do I say this? If they, like, I, I don't know how to say this, okay? <laughs> It basically, if they really, like, were really diligent on Splatoon 3, because let's be real, Nintendo, they haven't really done anything. I mean, I shouldn't say they haven't really done anything, but, like, they don't listen to the community. That, like, I mean, they do, but, like, actually, no, I don't, what was the last time Nintendo really listened to the community? But that's, that's something for another, that's, 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 that's totally different. Basically, yeah, they, I, like, they sh instead of splitting the resources, they should have someone just make full single player spinoffs and as they work on the main game. Because then all their time wouldn't be going into side order and all their time would be going into like, you know, actually making the maps work and you know like not like <laughs> like making it work generally. That's basically what I'm trying to get at. Like yeah, just making everything work. It's still conf like I don't Y you know what I mean, okay? Just next take, next take. I oh, oh, I forgot. I do agree with this take, definitely though. My theory is the villain of the DLC is either Gwen Fiddler or that new character in the poster side order. Maybe Lil Judd or Tartar and the reward for completing the game is am and amusing there. Amusing? Wh what? Is the hidden boss level like After Alternate or Engine Agent 3 is in Goblet Square some special hero gear? I mean, this would, I mean, that, that last part does kind of sound fire. It, another hidden boss, I would be down to do that. But yeah, there's definitely lots of impact here with this, with this whole take. Um, Gwen Fiddler, or that new character, which I'm pretty sure they're referring to the villain that looks like Agent 4, which because, I mean, it, like, you see the little earpiece things that only heroes, uh, only agents have ever had. And Agent 3 has had a hero, like, every agent has an earpiece. And, and specifically Splatoon 2, they're a little bit smaller than Splatoon 1's. But yeah, my in my personal theory, I think it's Marina or Agent 4 behind it. I mean, like, because the shadows are kind of linking up, you know what I'm saying? And Marina, she just seems like she'd be, good, she'd be a good villain for the game. But if y'all do want a full video of me for going... 
put a video of me going fully into depth of this and I think if y'all really want me to go like if y'all really want a theory video of, like who I think the villain is you know what to do like you can just hit that like button and maybe even subscribe you know I'm trying to get 500 subscribers but yeah uh, I don't think it's Glenn Fiddler because it just I, I like I don't know I just don't I don't think Glenn Fiddler would be an, an, a villain I feel like he's just a normal dude I mean like a kind of normal dude I mean like he's still weird but I feel like you know like he shouldn't like he doesn't have to be even like and every like it's so it's just hard to swim. we're gonna get to the next take though I disagree with this take Glenn Fiddler should not be involved in Cider at all McGregor can have loose ties to it Little Judge should be heavily involved and this as it's a Splatoon 2 theme campaign not every character introduced in S3 needs to be a shopkeeper or involved in the single player within the same within the same game leave some mystery and theory behind and theory building for the next game like what they do with Mr. Grizz and Splatoon 2 this one is like this is not even a reply this is from a different website i got the last take off of reddit this one's on discord <laughs> but basically what they're basically saying is they don't think glenn fiddler, fiddler should be the villain and I, I mean like i agree glenn fiddler should not be the villain like dude he's he's like he could just be a normal dude like just leave him alone like you know people have had countless of theories of like like anyone else could be villain was Anyone else could be a villain, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, it could be someone who has, like, millions of, like... Bro, there's so many characters that have had so many theories of who could be the villain of. Most people think it's Marina. Some people think it's Little Judd. And Little Judd has been, like, a... Like, they've, they've been... The Splatoon community has been thinking Little Judd is evil since, like, maybe even Octo Expansion days or even when the game launched. They just looked at him and saw that he was small and he was a clone of Judd and that, like, he was evil because apparently Judd's evil. But... You know, that's not my theory. That I mean, that's their theory. So, I mean, it could definitely be Judd, though. Lil Judd. You know, he just looks he just looks evil. Just look at his eyes, dude. But people have been, yeah. Like, <laughs> since, yeah. We don't need most new... Like, what I'm trying to say, like, we do not need most newer characters at the moment to be tied into something that's mainly based in the past. Like, you know, we're in a past place, so why like you know agent eight's not even in the splatoon three story mode like she that's a totally different thing she had go, she got going on there her and pearl are either like still i want to say stranded because they did make music with someone else before deep cut but you know like girl, basically what I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna stop this gap session basically what's going on here i feel like you know pearl and agent eight have this own thing looking for marina you know marina could be the true villain all along Blah blah blah, and Glenn Fiddler is just doing Glenn Fiddler. He's just fiddling around. He's just chilling. Like everyone doesn't have to be a villain. <laughs> like that's like assuming. Like if you go up to somebody, you assume that they, like, uh, you go up to somebody and you assume they're like the Green Goblin. They're a villain. Like they're not. <laughs> like they don't have to be a villain. So the claims for today. I'm trying something new with my content though. And I want to let you know if you guys like I want to see if you guys like it. So, I mean, if you guys do like it, you know, you can like. And if you're new, you can even subscribe for more. And you know what? Why don't you go ahead and drop some of your side over theories for, like, just drop them down in the comments. If you have any side over theories, just drop them in the comments. I might even react to them for a video. But, yeah, that's about it. Uh, Subscribe, like, please. I'm trying to hit 500 subscribers. Yeah, all right. Is that good? Yeah, okay, bye. Thank you.